I, 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 you know, I, I, I always keep saying democracy, democracy, but democracy, it's scary. Early Boomer. So it looks like Robert De Niro went on yet another crazy meltdown on TV about how evil he thinks Trump is, probably thinking that Trump is still the president to this day. While I agree that Tump is not on the people's side like many right-wingers seem to think, De Niro hates him for all the wrong reasons, mostly just because he's on the opposite side of the fake political theater. Let's see what he has to say. Over the last eight years, we've heard you talk about the former president. You have called him a fraud, a con artist. You've said he's, <laughs> he's a New Yorker like you, and you have watched this brand of BS for decades. And despite that, he became president. He became president not because he was a nice guy, but because he actually knew what the people want and how to give it to them. And now we're watching him, 10 blocks from where we are right now, sitting in a courtroom as a criminal defendant. Look how happy this makes her. Imagine the tears if it was the exact same situation, but with a leftist politician under investigation instead of Trump. This guy's a con artist, and he's gotten away with it for years. Yeah, kind of like how leftist politicians have with deeds much worse. No, he's more than that that to me. He's he's sick. He is really genuinely a sick person that somehow has been allowed into our system. Yeah, just like many other evil politicians, especially on the left, that you never want to call out for some reason. And I'm not calling him. I'm tired of calling him names. He just can't be anywhere near. Uh, the office of the presidency. Not if your side steals the election again. You've played a lot of bad guys. Would you ever play Donald Trump? Never. He's, I, there's nothing about him. There's not one redeeming thing in him at, that I can see ever, ever. Biased much? Over half the U.S.'s population actually voted for him. But let's pretend he had no good values that could have made the voters like him. Uh, and I, it's funny, I was just thinking that he's... He actually became president. He could have done good things. He has, you just don't want to talk about those. I don't, I don't think they understand how dangerous it will be if he ever, God forbid, becomes president. That's what your side said before he won in 2016. And he turned out to be quite possibly the best president in history. I don't think they really understand. And historically, from what I see, even with... In, in Nazi Germany, they had it with Hitler. They don't take him serious. He looks like a clown, acts like a clown. Mussolini, same thing. These guys, I don't know why, they look like clowns. They look like that to you, specifically, because you've only ever heard of them through the propaganda from within your Marxist bubble. They somehow people, uh, that element of society identifies in some ways with them, but it would be chaos beyond our imagination. There's no mystery about him. He, he's right out front. And what he says is what it'll be if he becomes president. Do you think our democracy is at risk in this election? See, now that's some bullshit. Do you have any concerns for the future of the arts if you were to become president? He has already said he wants to go after his enemies. He wants to go after journalists and the news media. Mm -hmm. What about your industry? He already didn't go after them the last time he reigned. What makes you think it would be any different now? He didn't even go after the criminals he promised he would take care of. You have no upside in having this conversation, in speaking out against Donald Trump. You are making yourself a target. The interview will air and he will immediately find a reason to talk bad about you in public. That seems to be precisely why he's doing it. Still, he can say whatever he wants as long as it aligns with the leftist media's narrative and he'll be praised for it by half the population while the other half just shrugs and moves along. We always hear about people from Eastern Europe, the, uh, the Jews from other parts of Eastern Europe, from Western Europe coming over. Look what happened with France, uh, with the Nazis and so on. You know what was much worse for Eastern Europe than the Nazis? The commies. And yet their ideology is exactly what people like you are currently trying to implement in the West. Sometimes I run into some people who are close to my age who are from... from uh, Eastern Europe, European countries, or even Nazi Germany, and uh, you know, they, you understand it. No, you don't seem to understand it at all. 
you've clearly only heard one half of the story from one side alone. Do you think Joe Biden's the right guy? He, uh, we don't have a choice. In a way, he's right, since all so-called elections seem to be decided by whoever pulls the strings from above. And I think he is the right guy. He's a good guy. He's trying to do the right thing. Yeah, just like every single dictator was trying to do the right thing from his own perspective. You warned America about who Donald Trump was in 2016. You're a lifetime New Yorker, so is he. And you said the country does not realize who this fraudster is. And not enough people listened. They did listen, just not to you. Anyway, not long after the interview, Elon Musk replied to De Niro's crazy rant. In his Twitter post, he wrote, well, Trump was actually already president for four years and his policies bore no resemblance to those of Hitler. So this makes no sense. In fact, with the Abraham Accords, he made some progress towards peace in the Middle East, which was definitely not high on Hitler's agenda. And Musk is not wrong to say this. The supposed crimes that De Niro got so angry about are essentially just meaningless character flaws that could only bother someone who lives in a bubble, disconnected from reality. Trump can and should be criticized, but not for made-up crap like being a Nazi. Rather, for how he treated the people during the so-called pandemic. And especially for Operation Death Jab. I mean, warp speed. Which really was a crime against humanity. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and put your thoughts down below. You should also check out my book of Unveiled Secrets and Groundbreaking Revelations of the World which you can find in the description. See you all in the next one.